the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 350, John 22-21 Resurrection, the greatest victory Jesus, who rose from the dead, restored the disciples who were mired in despair and gave them the mission of spreading the gospel. First point, Jesus defeated death and resurrected after three days. Jesus was buried and then he resurrected after three days. The women went to his tomb early on the third day, but did not find him there. Mary Magdalene learned the disciples to inform them that Jesus was not in his tomb. Although the women, Peter and John, saw Jesus' empty tomb, they still did not understand what was going on. It could have been that their understanding of resurrection was limited to what was written in the Old Testament. After reuniting with Jesus, they finally understood that Jesus had resurrected. The resurrected Jesus first went to Mary Magdalene. As such, Jesus resurrected after three days and became the first fruit of resurrection. The sin of Jesus' resurrection is indeed the most glorious and wonderful sin in the entire Bible. We sing of Jesus' resurrection forever. Second point, Jesus went to go see his disciples after three days. Jesus, in resurrected form, went to meet his disciples. The disciples had all run away, full of fear when the Sanhedrin assembly came to arrest Jesus. But Jesus came to find them, and then he showed them his resurrected form. One disciple who was not there, Thomas, refused to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead, and swore that he would not believe until he had touched the nail marks on Jesus' hands. Jesus then had to appear in front of Thomas as well, and finally Thomas believed. Third point. Saint John was able to meet the resurrected Jesus again after a long time on the island of Patmos. The reason Saint John recorded John's Gospel was in order to record Jesus' seven miracles, as well as Jesus' suffering on the cross and the resurrection. Saint John himself believed that Jesus was the Son of God and Christ, who came to give eternal life to all nations. In his old age, John was sent to the island of Patmos, where he recorded about the new heavens and the new earth. In Revelation, John confirmed Jesus' second coming. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Fourth point, St. John recorded that the resurrected Jesus came to eat with them again, like the Last Supper he had with them during the final Passover. The resurrected Jesus firstly came to see his ten disciples, and then eight days later, he went to see Thomas. Jesus had met all his remaining disciples. Jesus separately appeared before Peter, Thomas, Nathaniel, James, John, and two others. They all met in Galilee. The resurrected Jesus met his disciples not in Jerusalem, but in Galilee. Jesus told the women to tell his disciples to stay in Galilee. With his seven disciples, Jesus had something to eat. This was similar to when he ate with his disciples the night before he was crucified. Fifth point, St. John recorded that Jesus gave him and Peter a mission. Jesus, who ate with seven of his disciples, gave Peter and John a mission. 
He first spoke to Peter. He told Peter that he would glorify God through his death. Peter then asked Jesus about John, to which Jesus answered why Peter should care if Jesus decided to keep John alive until the last judgment, although figuratively. The last gospel, John's gospel, ends on this note. This is the disciple who testifies to these things and who wrote them down. We know that his testimony is true. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.